everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate ffmpeg in native android application uh, so for this uh, particular tutorial i am using this particular library called ffmpeg FF kit uh, so yeah i will be following this particular documentation so first uh, i'll show you guys the output basically what i have done so i have two buttons one called pick video and second one called convert i'll click on pick video it will open our video picker for us i'll click on this particular uh, video and it has started playing the original video i have paused it uh, like i have not applied any ffmpeg uh, like effects to this particular uh, video it is the original video now i will click on convert uh, given that uh, suppose if this is a very long video the conversion will take little bit of time so i am also displaying how much conversion has happened so here you can see uh, this is the percentage of how much conversion has happened so this is a short video that's why uh, it has uh, uh, finished pretty fast but here you can see i have applied the grayscale effect to this uh, video i have saved it, saved it to external storage and then i am playing it inside an exo player or video player whatever you call it uh, so yeah that's what uh, this tutorial will be about now uh, just to be uh, clear with you like if you are applying grayscale filter i have made another video using media 3 transformer i would highly suggest to use media 3 transformer wherever possible because if you don't know media 3 transformer also provide bunch of uh, effects like video effects which you can apply to any video but uh, the advantage of using ffmpeg is uh, there are a lot of other things which you can do with ffmpeg so choose whatever you uh, uh, fit your needs so anyways let's get started so firstly i have created a native android application i am using xml layout but if you want you can use jetpack compose as well firstly i went to build.gradle.kts and here i have imported three libraries exoplayer exoplayer ui if you are using hls video then you will also need this particular dependency if you don't if you know that you won't be using hls video you can comment uh, this particular dependency out then for ffmpeg kit we have to use this particular dependency as well now you will have to go to libs.version.toml and here you can see firstly i have added this media 3 exo player dependency and here is our ffmpeg uh, kit of dependency so here you will have to add this particular line of code again this i have copied it from the documentation and also you need to add these three lines of code as well for exo player once that is done just click on sync now it will download uh, all the dependencies for you then you will have to i think go to android manifest now for older versions of android uh, after i click on the convert button i am saving the file to external storage right so for older version of android we require this read write external storage permission for newer version of android we don't require this permission so if you are writing a file to external storage that is accessible to your app so you don't have to worry about it and here as you can see i have also added this internet permission if you if you are not picking a video from a video picker if you are trying to convert a video which is stored on a network url you can use that as well okay i think that should be it for android manifest then if you see my activity underscore main i have just taken one button for picking video from our uh, video library then i have taken one player view now this will play the original video uh, it's just that i wanted to show you guys the difference between the original video as well as the uh, transformed video uh, and here this exo player will play uh, the transform video where we are applying grayscale filter and next this is the large button for clicking convert and this is the progress bar once the video conversion start uh, taking place uh, then if you go to main activity so firstly i'll show you guys all the imports so these are all the imports which i have so you can copy paste it if you want to then i have created our two exo players uh, then it required two player views one progress bar as well uh, this is the file name uh, okay change it to whatever you feel like uh, this playback position is zero play when ready is true uh, this is for older version of android the permission of read write external storage this video url will get initialized only once you pick a video from your library so here you can see i'm using register for activity result and once this is called we get a uri i assign it to our video url variable and here if uh, we are above uh, hdk 24 then we initialize our input player and start playing the original video and this is a method for launching our video picker so i am calling this but uh, method on our button click now this is for uh, 
older versions of android where we are requesting read write external storage permission so if you are on older version it will ask you for read write external storage permission and then only uh, you will see the video picker again for picking videos we don't require any permission the this permission is because i want to save the transform video to external storage later on when i click on convert button then here we initialize our progress bar input player output player as well once you click on transform video here as you can see i'm using setup ffmpeg and once you click on pick video we launch a new video picker if you are above android r if not uh, then ask for required permissions then uh, here is a method which helps us to convert uri to file now what happens is that once you pick a video from your video picker the url is something like content colon slash slash okay so that URI uh, FFmpeg doesn't really understand so we have to convert it to a proper URI so what I am doing is that I am creating an another file of the picked video and here it is stored in internal storage right so I can easily get uh, that particular file and from that I can get the actual URL path next here I am setting up FFmpeg so first displaying our progress bar then on IO coroutines uh, we get the URI actual URL of the file of the video file which you have picked then we also get the video duration which i will show you shortly uh, the video duration is necessary because we need to calculate how uh, much progress has happened once you click on the convert button and here is our command so basically this is the input this is the url uh, of the picked video from your uh, video library now here we are applying a effect so this is for uh, applying the um, grayscale filter effect okay and this is the url where the uh, converted video will be stored so here we are uh, doing that and once uh, the it is successful i am uh, uh, like uh, basically saving the file to external storage the, uh, hiding our progress bar hi uh, showing our output player initializing output player and here i'm just displaying a toast message in case of any error i'm just displaying a toast message you can hide the progress bar if you want to similarly for this as well in case of any error you can just display a toast message and hide progress bar uh, okay and the, here i'm just logging the event i'm not really sure what's the use of it but for this statistics this helps us to uh, display the progress of how much conversion has happened so that's what i was displaying inside locket but you can take a linear progress bar and show uh, progress from 0 to 100 as well if you want to so here we initialize our input player so this is the code for initializing so this basically uh, plays the uh, video uh, from the url which you have picked so this is for initializing the output player uh, okay and you can see this is same as what we have passed to the ffmpeg command uh, this is for releasing our player so on stop we release our player on pause we, re uh, we pause it on destroy also we release our player this is for saving file to external storage now i have just copy pasted this from the documentation so if you want you can do the same thing also one more thing which i want to show you is will just remove this this is my running device right i'll just unlock it and here you can see now uh, if i click on pick video again now there are three videos and the first video which you see is stored from our uh, conversion which we uh, did okay uh, so this is like i have just copy pasted this from uh, uh, stack overflow maybe you can do the same thing uh, so i'll just scroll uh, scroll down simply and this is the code for getting the uh, video duration of a particular video which we have picked so hopefully you got the point uh, yeah so here uh, whenever you use ffmpeg all you will have to do is change this particular command so ex exactly you will have to change this rest everything will remain the same so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye